Hi everybody, this video is all about my nail care routine. I show all the things that I usually do to keep my natural nails long, healthy and strong. Hope you like it. The first thing I'm gonna do is to remove the previous nail designs. I usually do this once a week. I paint my nails on Wednesdays. So I use this nail polish remover by Sally Hansen because it has extra strength for all nail types and it comes with vitamin E, it dissolves polish as it gently moisturizes. I use the classic cotton method because I love to massage my nails a lot. I repeat this process to all my nails. When I'm done, I feel it's necessary a nail care routine now because nails tend to get stained and peel off when you apply nail polish a lot as I do. I also need to remove dead skin and remove any imperfections my nails got after two weeks of no nail care routine. So this is what happens when you apply a lot of nail polish, a nail care routine is a must. I prepare this little bowl, then I pour some baking soda on it, uh, just a little bit. You can get this very easily, they are usually very cheap. Lemon is a high source of vitamin C, if you don't have it, you can use an orange, lime or grapefruit. Remove or leave the seeds, that's up to you. Later, I'll show you how I massage my nails with lemon. So fill half of the bowl with warm water. Then squeeze the whole lemon. Squeeze it as much as you can. Then place your fingernails into the warm bowl of lemon water for 10 minutes. This will allow the nails to heal faster and better. This method is known for whitening nails too. So 10 minutes or 20 minutes is up to you. The time is done, so this is how my nails look. Now I'll show you how I love to massage my nails with lemon. I always do the thumb first. You can place all the nails at once if you are in a hurry but it's important to massage, it stimulates blood flow to your nails and helps promote nail growth and health. This is why it's so important.
now that I'm done with the lemon part, I'm going to buff my nails a little. I tend to use this buffing block. I use this nail file to shape my nails. I use a cuticle trimmer but only to cut dead skin, generally on the sides, not the real cuticle. I use the other part of this tool to clean under my nails because long nails can catch a lot of dirt. It's important to keep them clean as much as we can. I love this nail clipper, it's very pretty and it can cut your nails in three different shapes. I love to experiment and try new nail shapes. Right now I have them like round, but I want to try pointy nails soon. So I buff my nails only if it's necessary because it can take 3 to 6 months for your nails to grow from cuticle to tip. That's why it's important to buff your nails only when needed, so that the same spot doesn't get buffed too much. I like to clean just with this drill. It is made by cotton. I always apply a lot of cuticle oil, especially these ones because they smell delicious and comes with lots of vitamins, nutrients for your nails and they are natural. So I leave it there until the nail absorbs it all. Now I give my nails some shape, right now I'm shaping mine round. I always had them squared, so I like to play with different nail shapes. Basically I just find the sharp edges and make them round. It's nothing fancy, it's very simple. When I'm done with the shaping, I use the special hand screen for nails and cuticles by Sally Hansen. I like it so much because it lasts through hand washings, fast absorbing, non-greasy. Next, I start applying it nail by nail from cuticle to tip as shown. Yes, as you can see, I love to massage my nails a lot. <laughs> For the final step, I apply base coat and that will be all. 
This is generally the first step for all my nail tutorials. I use OPI Natural Base Coat to have stronger nails for one week. It's a high-end product, beautiful, and it works really nice. Then, the other week, I used Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle for longer nails. This is the way my nails can stop growing. It truly really worked for me. It's great treatment. It is true, you can see results in 5 days. All that you have seen on this video may not work for you, but it does for me, and this is the nail care routine, is all that I usually do. So yeah, time for the final step, I apply OPI this time, remember base coats are good to prevent your nails from chipping, staining and even peeling, base coat helps the polish stick to your nail more easily. Many base coats are fortified with substances such as protein, vitamin E or calcium. These ingredients help keep nails healthier and prevent breaking, splitting and peeling. That's it. Hope you find this video informative and helpful. Bye.